time is, looks like we're going to be getting into a sheet ditto here in loser semis. I believe I might be incorrect. We don't actually have the bracket over here. But, theoretically. Anyways, Sheik v Sheik on Smashville. Sheik's best stage, so this should be quite interesting. Uh, I know that Kassajin is a very, or Kakajin, sorry, is a very high level Sheik player. I believe he won uh, Northwest Regionals over here. Uh, surprising to see him in loser's bracket, honestly. But I don't actually know focus. However, for him to get this far, then that says something all on its own. This is a match that's going to be very heavily based around, like, damage racking and theoretically gimps. However, Sheik's recovery is also very good, so that's going to be hard. It's probably going to come down to whoever has the better, like, mastery of their kill setups. Oh, and he gets the air dodge bait to up smash. That'll take the first dock relatively early. Uh, Kakajin taking a solid lead, and it's even more important here than in most matches just because of Sheik's kill power and the fact that you have to actually catch the opponent for that, whereas Sheik's strength is, you know, not being caught. Looks like he's playing a little bit more defensively now. Uh, focus not being able to get too much damage on him. Ka or Kak yeah, Kakajin, that's what it is. Sorry, guys, I'm pretty terrible with names. But is doing a pretty good job about just not getting punished very hard. Gets the bear. Doesn't get the bouncing fish follow-up, though. Goes for it too late. Though I don't know if it would have actually comboed at this point. Oh, and then an unfortunate SD on Focus's part. Uh, to those of you in the chat, no, I am not still in. I ended up being eliminated by Tommy and then Timmy, but I beat everyone else I ran into. Oh well, they were good matches, though. Anyways, more importantly, back to the match at hand. Looks like we're going straight back to Smashville. A uh, little bit of a color change from both of them, actually. F tilts and jabs being traded back and forth. Percent is very close at this point. Lots of just minor combos, and then they get comboed right back. Uh, Kakajin did have stage control. Focus managed to take it. Sheik is extremely good at uh, stealing stage control as well as abusing it. Oh, read the... I don't know if that was actually a back roll or a tech roll back, but, and caught it with the bouncing fish. Got a nice little chunk of damage off of that. Bouncing Fish being one of Sheik's most damaging moves, along with Tipper Up Smash and Vanish, which are both incredibly, or an incredible amount more difficult to land. Ooh, uh, Miss Spaces is fair. Well, I suppose uh, Focus actually ran in further so that it wasn't spaced with the dash to shield. Doesn't get the risky Vanish read, but he also doesn't really get punished for it. Uh, Kakajen just slowly advancing forward, taking stage control. Uh, didn't, uh, sorry. Focus, I keep trying to call him 4Ana, I believe it is, that this tag is. But, uh, ended up saving his jump, not using it to get needled. Definitely a good thing to know against Sheik, because that can get incredibly early kills. Oh, I believe the stream just lagged. However, uh, Kakajen actually loses the first stock in this game. A bit of a change from how last game went. However, that's just kind of how Sheik Dittos go. Whoever gets the kill set up first matters a lot more than the actual percent. Focus definitely at kill percent, uh, as long as he can get something, or as long as Kakajin actually lands something on him. However, at this point, Focus is going to have a much easier time racking damage than Kakajin is killing. However, some of his combos will be messed up due to Rage, as you could see right there. I believe without Rage, he could have just forward throw to Bouncing Fish. Uh, gotten a little bit of extra damage, but he still, I believe, got the up air conversion. Oh, and a turnaround. Uh, B, uh, yeah, B reverse needles into Bouncing Fish, takes that stock. Uh, caught the Bouncing Fish. With a, oh, uh, focus looking like Kakajin's first stock last game. Uh, however, he did not get the up smash read. Kakajin didn't quite fall for it. Ooh. 
All right, got him off the ledge with the ledge trump. Did not uh, actually convert anything off of it, though, because he didn't actually go back to the ledge, knew what was coming. Ooh, and uh, Kakujin gets a nice forward... Yeah. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. I'm having difficulty actually talking right now. But got a nice forward air to Bouncing Fish on the platform. Uh, the focus seems to be getting a little bit desperate, going for up smash reads, vanish, things like that, rather than his kill setups, things like soft hit and air, uh, tipper down tilt, or even forward tilt, though that might be past this percent. Hello everyone, it's Bombachoon Link. And with that game two does as well. That uh focus actually took the first off. Pretty impressive. Ah uh, yes, Sheik did was very fast and furious all the time. So uh, lots of damage flying everywhere, but people can live up to pretty high percents. However, Sheik is super light as well. Oh yeah. It almost it neutralizes her low, very low killing potentials without great setups. Yeah. 